Hello, welcome back to another Story with Rob. This time we have Ish, which is by Peter H. Reynolds. A lovely book about a boy who enjoys drawing and then gets a bit worked up about trying to get things just right. And he learns throughout the book that Ish is the perfect way of doing things. So bus-ish, flower-ish. Looks kind of like a bus, looks kind of like a flower. And then that helps him on his journey. So that's a really good, really good message, I think, for all of it as we go through. Trying your best, seeing how it works, and then obviously building on that as you go forward. And it says on the back, Raymond loves to draw, especially when he learns that he doesn't have to worry about getting it just right. So there we are, with a lovely cup, vase-ish on the back. So, let's give it a go. Raymond loved to draw. There he is, on the floor drawing. Anytime, anything, anywhere. There he is, in bed, out in the streets, painting some dustbins, and even on the toilet. I recommend drawing on the toilet. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Mm. Older brothers and sisters. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right. But they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. He'd given up drawing. Something he really enjoyed doing. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I am not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. She'd been taking all of his pictures that he didn't think were good enough. She obviously loved them. This is one of my favourites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energised. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Not overthinking his drawing now. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his notebooks. Tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish and sun-ish. Look at those. Maybe not 100% perfect, but... Very nice drawings anyway, and he's doing something that he loves doing. Raymond realised he could draw feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, pond-ponder, dream yonder, pond-pond, yond-yond. 
Gleam Wonder by Raymond. And there's his poem down here. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savoured it. Lying out there in the sun. And Raymond lived ishly ever after. All the way along with his drawings. Full of colour. The end. Ish. <laughs> so there we are. Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Like I said, a lovely book about just giving it a go. Which I think is a great message for all of us, really. Just give it a go. See what happens. So there we are. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time for more Stories with Rob. Bye-bye.